first question. What does evolution mean to you? Um, I think it means to change over time. And uh, in some cases, a lot of people believe that humans were uh, first started off as apes and became humans over time. Uh, I do not believe that's true. I believe that we weren't exactly like how we are right now, but I don't think we went through such a drastic change like that. Drastic I think change. evolution is a gradual development of something from a more simpler form to a complex form. What about you? <laughs> um, to me, evolution is a change within um, a, a, society. a society or community of different uh, I think that evolution means that a form has, or a, living, um, a life form has changed over time, become smarter so that they can survive. Because as we evolved into um, bigger and more intelligent humans as you go into an adult, because if we all stayed as babies, then we would have been also smart. So basically, you're saying like we advance. Yeah. But if there's still apes. Why is there still humans? Um, I mean, why is there still apes? Um, because I, like I already said, I don't think that's why I don't believe in the theory though. Because if like evolution, if we had changed from apes to humans, then we, at the time we were all born, we would have been apes, and we still wouldn't have been the humans we are now. If it is true, like we actually did start off as some sort of form of an ape, I believe that we weren't completely like an ape, but we had ape like, but we had very ape like. Qualities, features, yeah, like qualities, very similar to me. Traits, but not completely, exactly like me. So you guys, you guys don't believe the theory is true? No. No. Okay. Second question: How how do you think things evolve? Um. Well, to me, to me, I think it's a progression of like um, you have to progress within things. For example, like exactly what they just said, it's not like we stay babies. We become more advanced every every, every year. But not only when you evolve, you become more advanced. You also uh, you can get taller. You can stay change bigger. the way you look. Your appearance. You change. You change. You change. And you change the your appearance. You change your personality over time. Just anything. Can Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, it, it's like the way things develop, you could start in a simpler form, like if you think about it, like a frog, it starts as like a tadpole, and, and, it, and it, it, it just changes. gradually it evolves into a frog. And then wow. it loses because, um, there's Okay. It's appendages. Yeah. Okay. Third question. How did we come to being? No, that's it, that's it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think what they mean is how we came. How we came to be us, so we from we apes to well, humans. If, well, if that's what they If we were ever um, apes, then there might have been like a time where like a century, like many, many centuries, like since we have become humans or since we know that we've been humans, that there may have been millions and millions of years that people have been apes and gone through every single stage. For example, like if we go back to evolving, um, to like the first stage, yeah, compare it's us to the beginning stages of human. That's extremely different. Okay, fourth question: How do you think we evolved over time? Um, I. Basically, I don't think we evolved from apes, which we already talked about. I do think that, rather, uh, I am a Christian, so I do believe that we weren't apes, and that instead we were, there was just the first two people on earth, and so on. It became more people. So, you guys, you guys do not believe in the theory of evolution. Well, I believe in evolution, just well, not. Like, but in not us, yeah. So now I don't believe in that theory because there are different like species. Like so, like again with the frog example, like 
there's normal frogs, but then there's the little like tadpoles. So appendages. Yeah. So then, like maybe that's how like people were, but that's what some people. Yeah, because sometimes like they have to evolve into something that can help them survive in whatever environment they're in. They're in kind. Talk. Oh, um, well, I think the people get confused on on humans and apes because we look so alike, like primates. Or Okay. Fifth question. Can we as humans continue to evolve? Why or why not? Well, like maybe as I said, the right of the centuries were like stages of evolution, like stages of the evolutionary process could have been like not in like that everybody could have been like that. Like now, how everybody's human. Maybe like in the future, if I don't really believe in this, but it could uh, humans could possibly evolve into a more advanced form. Uh, can you repeat the question? Oh, uh, can we as humans continue to evolve? Why or why not? I think that we could continue to evolve, but like I think that everybody gradually will eat, like people could gradually evolve, but it might take like a very long time. Again, like centuries. Um, centuries. I think, like kind of what she was saying, I do believe that people have the ability to evolve, but a very slight uh, changes to our, our uh, appearance, maybe, and I think it's not going to be as a drastic change as some people think. It might be, I think it's just going to be a very small change. Small I change? Um, I don't think we're going to go from, like, a, a, maybe if we were apes, apes to humans and back to apes. I think with evolve for humans mean is to get smarter, grow, grow over time. Oh, you mean to advance as a, to like, to the human, human race? Yeah. You mean to advance as a human yeah. race, not to transform into yeah. a different society? Like, because, like, a couple, only, like, a couple years ago, the generations, Technology only about 30 there. years ago, like, the gra um, now games, like, um, like games and like TV shows, everything has just like technology has just advanced so much over time, and it's not been that long. So I think that humans have like evolved as like a race more quickly. Than okay. Okay. I also agree with that because if you think of it, the way that they used to do things is very different from the way they do things now. Because games used to be like, Cause, all like too yeah, because they used to have like. Yeah, if you think of it, television used to be in black and white, and what they used to do is take the film and add color to the film. But cell now, phones used to not cell phones phones they used to be attached to the wall. Yeah, there would be a cord, and you couldn't just carry them around like you can. Or, and they had cards and then phones just screen just that in time. Car. Mobile phones were even like, they weren't touch screen, they, they were, were just like, like just slip yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, where, where there, were, there were any space for every single letter of the alphabet or numbers. There's a little side question. Question seven. If human impact on the environment doesn't affect organisms, then how is it possible that some organis organisms don't survive when humans change the environment? Um, did you repeat the question? I don't know. I'll just say it. Okay. Let me see. Well, um, I kind of heard part of the question, which was like saying, uh, if we, like, oh wait, so if we change the environment, why do other species kind of get affected by that? But that's basically like saying if like something bigger than, or bigger or stronger than us, like wiped out our society, how would we survive, you know? It but, just, just I don't know. Did we repeat the question? Well, what? Like, you, you can go ahead and repeat the question. Yeah, yeah you know, I think that would be better. Okay. okay. Yeah. If human impact on the environment doesn't affect organisms, then how is it possible that some organisms don't survive when humans change the okay. environment? Um, well, a lot of times humans kind of like take over territory, like they build buildings all over like countries and cities, which kind of um, 
ruins the land. And also one of the main problems is that humans are gonna like taking down the rainforest and causing species to go extinct because we're getting rid of their habitat now. Because like you're destroying their land, you know? Like you're taking their homes off. That is also down that's also causing other animals to mate with other animals, which then creates more evolutions. Do you think those animals or yeah, animals would be able to adapt to another habitat, or would they die? Probably not, because what their species have been let in that specific habitat for their entire like. Life. They'll be like that when people like like it lets like when people pour things in the water and contaminate the water that will that could wipe out those species, and then um, it would be like they would wipe it out, and then the animals or like the water animals that can't survive on land, would it have anywhere else to live? It's so not they just the animals, animals that live in the water, though. it just could be yeah. land animals that have to drink the water. Right. And it you had said a question, which was to, um, wait, which was to, um, if they could get a new habitat, I think it depends on the type of animal, because like kind of under uh, animals who live in the sea, like fish, the water, they can't like, like fish, they can't really away. get a new home on land or something. So and it just yeah, there's the no way that they can just like. And then there's like other away. animals that live somewhere where, and then they can't like, they can't really like go to a new place, like because anywhere they try to go is like. Okay, next question. If populations evolve, then how is it possible for organisms to genetically uh, change in one lifetime? Um, could you I think as our, as our population grows, I, I think that, that also means that their population will grow too. So then, the the earth isn't as the earth is bigger than we think because see there's still ninety five percent of the oceans we still haven't discovered and you don't know how many more animals are gonna become as well as humans. Okay. Um, the reason that they're able to genetically change is just depending on their type of animal because at first like. If they were, they have to change and adapt to their environment, and that's part of the reason why they evolve. Because if they live near water and they have to swim a lot of the time, they're Okay. Um. There are a lot of ways changing genetically isn't um isn't naturally occurring, but it can happen because of mankind, like. GMO, uh, genetically modified organisms, so something like that. So it's not always just naturally how it changes. Like humans can change. But humans evolve no, in, a, in many lifetimes. Or like what she but said. one organism is evolving in one lifetime. Yeah, like what she said. Or they can, they're starting to make new hybrids, mix of different genes from different animals, from different humans. Well, humans are always like. like when when two different humans would connect, they could have a child. So like the child would have genetics from both of their parents. So then their child would be different than anybody because they don't have the same genetics as anybody else. An example of what you're saying is how they say it, that how they could be different than anybody would be, I have uh, two examples would be me and my mom. We're the only people in my entire family with freckles. And my cousin, who is the only person in my entire family with red hair. But it's just the, like it's just your parents and your genetics and stuff. And then it's also like it's just the way you are. So what you're saying, like if you got the genes from both of your parents, would you be like them or would you be totally different? Well, if you get it from both of your parents, you would be different, but you'd also be similar in ways. So like. You could have the same hair color as your mom, the same eye color, or you could maybe have like same hair color as your dad and eye color as your mom. Or like yeah. facial details, maybe a different
different nose shape or something. Or maybe like some people would say like, oh, you have the same personality as your mom. Your mom, or or you have this personality from your mom and this personality from your dad. Like it's just. Okay, thank you guys for answering our questions. Thank you. Thank you.